Good morning, boys and girls. This is Darek from Let's Polish. Long time no see. And yeah, this is my new invitation. So today I'm gonna tell you something about Polish weddings. So after this, all preparations, spending fortune for stuff, you can start the party. Um, I forgot about a few things before the party. So the very first thing the bride and groom have to organize is to book a wedding hall. And we call it Sala Vesela. It's not so obvious to just call a random place and say we want to have a wedding party in three months. No way. It takes about a year, more often even two years, to get a good date. Such parties we organize in places like hotels, of course those which offer a dancing room, because you have to dance. And also in places like Dome Veselne, just wedding houses. How much is this place? It depends. Usually it looks that way. You pay for each guest and you don't have to care about food and drinks. Vodka and music are usually not included. So the price for one guest is from 200 to 300 PLN. It's called za talerzyk. Talerzyk and you pay for talerzyk za talerzyk in the Polish language, right? So for a plate. Remember, confirm your presence at the wedding, because it wouldn't be nice to say OK, I will arrive and then just ignore. Because they paid for you, you thankless bastard. Vodka. You might like it, or you might hate it, or you just don't care about it. But the fact is, vodka is at every single Polish wedding. I think so. Mostly, probably. Tell me if I'm wrong. Didn't you have vodka? Don't call yourself Polish. It is more probable to avoid wine in France or hot dogs in the USA than vodka at a Polish wedding. So it's like 20 PLN for a bottle and you have to count at least one per capita. Music. Mostly fiancés choose a band, a music band, but this is an expensive option. I'd say about 400 P no, 4000 PLN and they play and sing for the whole night, mostly. A cheaper option is to take a DJ. There are some pros and cons in two options, but trust me, if you like to dance and you will be drunk, or you will drink some shots, or at least some drinks, you'll be dancing to a YouTube song played on your phone. At modern weddings, you will find some additional attractions. Sometimes nice, like a bartender who's serving drinks. Sometimes weird, like a photo boot. Do you call it like that? Photo boot? Sometimes also stupid. Um, never mind. I don't want to make fun of my friends. Invitations. It's nice to deliver them up to six months before the day. Okay, at least three months. And it's nice if you do it personally. It shows your respect. This is also a good chance to meet some close relatives, uncles and aunts you have never seen before, but they claim they remember you and how sweet you were as a kid. Wedding dress, suknia shlubna. Oh, by the way, the bride is 10 times more expensive than the groom. What do I mean? She has to get the dress, shoes, makeup, hairstyle, nails, and probably 50 more things. Am I right? What about the guy? Just a good suit, good shoes? Maybe it's just my case. Let me know if I'm right and if it works the same in your country. Okay, but you are a guest, so you don't have to care about all these things. Unless you plan to marry a Polish person. Anyway, trust me, a Polish wedding is a big thing. It's not cheap at all. Uh, let's talk about some wedding customs. Bramki. Gates. So imagine a village and he already came out from the bride's house. And you are heading the church. You all guests and everybody. Yeah, church. Haven't you heard that 99,9% .9 of Polish society, we are Catholics? Okay, I'm kidding, but it's kind of a tradition. Never mind, you don't have to, but probably your grandma will ask you for this. Your mother might ask you for this. Anyway, so imagine, suddenly some people stop you and the theater begins. So usually they end the story. Let's say they want to kidnap the bride and you have to pay. Forget about money though, there is another currency, so you pay with a vodka. Or another story, they pretend their car broke down and they need the groom to help them push. After the job, they need to drink. So the goal of a bramka 
is just to have fun. And usually it's funny. Sometimes cringy, maybe. In some parts of Poland, there is a word Prashny. Do you know Prashny? Prashnie? Let me know. In my case, they asked me to chop the wood. Yeah, there was a huge axe and a small piece of the wood. But I can proudly say I did it. Okay, the mask. Yes. Yes. Let's party. You hit the wedding hall. The new husband has to carry his new wife over the threshold. Before that, black magic, wishes, some superstitions. Then the first dance, so romantic, people cry. The other can't wait for the official start. Food and drinks and go. Everybody dances. Midnight and Otrepine. And kill me. I have no idea how to explain Otrepine, how to translate it. I believe there are some translations, but mm, let's, let's check it. Bright putting on a cap, unveiling and capping ceremony. Mm, maybe some kind of... Um, I'll try. Uh, I believe I have to make another episode for this, so tell me if you like it. A short brief. Mature people play and take part in stupid games for kids, and they fight for vodka, which is free anyway. A short example. Dancing couples and the master of ceremony ask them for some unexpected actions, like bring me now a piece of banana, or ladies jump on guys' backs, or dance with just one leg and so on. Okay, did I tell you it wasn't an educational video? I just wanted to tell you a few things about Polish weddings, and if you have any specific questions, just let me know about it in the comment section. I will try to answer, and if it's necessary, I will make another episode. So I think it's all for this episode. I believe you found something interesting for you, maybe something funny, maybe you plan to visit Poland and you will be a part of a Polish wedding, or maybe you already took part in a Polish wedding. Let us know about it. And tell me about your customs, about something which is very funny in your country, of course connected to weddings. And thank you for today, see you soon in another episode in 100 years. Bye-bye!